Hi everyone, this side Jagyasa Thapar from Economic Times, ET Education, and I would like to welcome Professor Vishwajoy Chatterjee from IEM, UEM Group from Jaipur and Kolkata. Welcome on board, sir. Hello everyone, I'm Vishwajoy Chatterjee. I'm the Vice Chancellor of UEM Jaipur and representing IEM and UEM Group today. So, with this, I would like to ask you, sir, what's the one piece of advice uh, you would give to the educators looking to integrate AI in their classrooms? Okay, so integration of AI in the classrooms is being done mainly for the personalization in learning. See, what is happening is, when we teach in a class, all the students are getting uh, taught by us. What happens mostly, we can note, we can relate to this, that those students who are gifted can learn easily. After the class, they actually go a level up because if they have any doubts, they will clarify it by asking a question. But those students who are not so gifted, don't understand easily, they in fact, they are afraid of asking a question too because they feel that if I ask a question, I will be pointed out and I will stand out alone in the class. And what happens as a result, the gap between the students after a class should actually decrease. The students should come to a same level. On the contrary, what happens is the gifted students go even up and those students who are not so gifted go even down. So this gap closing is very, very necessary. And I think AI can do that very easily. In AI, what we can have is different sort of software are available at the moment, where on the basis of a student, by judging him by certain parameters, like asking him one or two small easy questions, or maybe interacting with him by giving him to write a little bit about himself, or some simple questions about their school and other things, uh, AI software actually understands his level of understanding. And AI actually gives the questions at par with his level of understanding, it does not give tough questions so that it cannot answer. It does not give easy questions, which is very easy for him or her to answer. It gives him questions according to his or her level. As a result, that student feels more comfortable at class. So in the class, we can also have Oculus headset sort of things, virtual reality to be integrated into this. And in that virtual reality system, those questions can automatically come and the students can app just uh, write that questions absolutely like that answer those which which he or she feels very very interesting and as a result the teacher can analyze okay this student is in this level this student is that level and can deliver the lectures accordingly i'm not saying that the teachers go out of the system teachers remain in the system ai only assesses and creates the interest now it is the duty of the teachers to actually teach them as per their level of understanding Exactly, sir. Thank you so much for sharing this point. Moving to next question. How can we ensure that technology doesn't replace but rather enhance the human element in teaching? Adding on to your quality, one thing only. I believe I have answered your question, uh, previous question in the line that you are asking this. Human can never be replaced because AI, even if it is integrating emotion nowadays, it is true it is integrating emotion, but the amount of emotion, the perfection of that emotion is not yet there in AI. It is difficult to integrate that. So a human being is always needed to interact with the student in his emotional level and teach accordingly. But yes, AI can actually judge his level of understanding and give the, those points. Now on the basis of that emotional connect, definitely a teacher is going to do or help the student. For example, I can give an example. For example, uh, a student who is, say, disabled in, uh, say, he cannot hear. I just give an example, he cannot hear. So when the teacher is teaching in the class, he is unable to hear what the teacher is teaching. Now with the help of AI, what can be done is, AI will give a book. Now when the student reads that book, Wearing an Oculus headset, whatever content of the book is there, a videographic representation of that also comes in front of his or her eyes. Exactly. Now, what he can do is he can relate to that very easily. Now, this is the role of technology over here. Now, what is the role of the teacher then? The role of the teacher now is to point out in those books properly that this is the point you have written and show that video in a mobile and connect with him and actually help him out with questions, answers and how he can approach the questions, answers, questions and answers in that, how he can apply it practically, those things the teacher will have to do and that is possible only when that emotional connect is there. So it is not to replace human being, it is only hand-holding. The teacher can use this as a tool to get this done. For example, if you don't hold the mic in front of me, still I am able to talk. 
it is me i it is i who am talking but this mic is helping my voice reach to the world that is possible this is ai you can understand this is the hand holding that ai is doing so human being can take this ai take the help of this ai to make his voice reach to the external world thank you so much sir for adding all these insights to our one uh, last question what's your take for the et education uh, i am very very impressed with the et education to tell the list i'm really very impressed. and i'm telling this from the core of my heart it is not that i'm telling it uh, like just to tell uh, et education the way they reach out to people they actually bring in the corporates they bring in the academicians they bring in the placements of people also the tpos of the co colleges are very very important because understand in a university it is the tpo they are the tpos who connect the uh, university academicians to the corporate world because they say this is the requirement of the corporate world and they actually help that they actually help the education to be actually taken or imparted in a way so that corporate people get this right sort of manpower so here those tpos are also connected they are over here the academicians over here the uh, industry people definitely are over here so the amount of people the type of people you bring in i think this is really really praiseworthy i have gone to so many places but such a wonderful level of industry institute interaction uh, it is very 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 rare to see i am really really very very impressed to say the least